This is BBN, Verbally Vicious News, with your anchor, Daryl Horner. Hey, what's up, people? Where that black dick at? I want to get some. Mm, just put it in my mouth. <laughs> what's up, YouTube? What's happening, Verbally Vicious Nation? I just, I've read so many comments today that I'm a, uh, and it's their quotes, it's not me, that I'm a, a race training nigger dick sucker that I just thought I would make them all happy and be like, hey, just put that big old black cock in my face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> look, the reason why I respond to shit like that all the time is I look at the pages that some of these people have, man. Everybody's like, Daryl, when you go lay off the fucking racist and stuff, you're just, you're not helping them. And as you know, I've laid off a lot recently. I used to at least mention something every day, if not make it the focus of my video. Now, like every third or fourth, I'll bring something up. And today is one of those. This dude, uh, and you can't leave comments, of course, on this guy's page. And I don't want you to subscribe, but I want you to see what I'm up against. I want you to go to, uh, 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 ah, marijuana is a motherfucking drug. Suspended for being real is the name of the page. Suspended and then the number four, being real. I'll put up annotations. This motherfucker is out his mind. Just look at the background on his page. This is one of the people who, you know, say I'm a race trader and they're going to kill me, whatever. <laughs> Go look at this dude's page. This dude alleges that more than 30-some thousand white women per year in this country are raped by black men. And there's actually a lot more that go unreported. Uh, bullshit. Be a racist. Be all fucking Aryan Brotherhood bullshit and Aryan Nation and blah, blah, 1488, blah, fucking blah. Be that. Quit with the fucking lies. Give me a reason, a real reason to not like the other race. Because the fact of the matter is, is most of those bitches are from redneck communities and they just wanted some black dick. And when their redneck husband found out that she was cheating on him because he had a little penis and she went and got her some mandingo dick and she got caught and her husband started beating her in the fucking head with a hammer or whatever, she went, no, it was rape, it was rape. There's rape and, dude, first of all, way more white men rape white women than any other race. Way more black men rape black women than... Actually, go look at the statistics. We are sort of historically the rapists. We really are. It's not something I'm proud about for being white. There's a lot of shit I love about being white, but we uh, white males really are the predominant fucking sexual attackers in this country. So move on, you fucktard. But you guys go check out that dude's page. When you wonder why I comment and say things about people, um, it's pages like that. You, you will be blown away at the hate on this fucking page. So, check it out. Moving on, Partnership for a Drug-Free America, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if those of you uh, that are out there that know about it, you know what the fuck's about to happen. For those of you that do not know what Partnership for Drug-Free America is, they're people that put out the Marijuana Kills commercials. Now, let me tell you a little something about Partnership for Drug-Free America. They are actually fully financed by seven different drug, alcohol, and tobacco companies. The largest pharmaceutical company in America, the largest tobacco distributor in America, and two of the largest alcohol distributors in America pay for Partnership for Drug-Free America. And they have those great commercials. You know the ones, guys. you got four white guys that packed, that packed in to a smoke-filled Toyota Corolla, and they're sitting at a jo Taco John's drive-thru just giggling and laughing and loving life. Order in their potato olays. And a little girl about 40 feet down at the end of the exit is riding her bicycle across the exit when the Toyota Corolla mysteriously slips out of gear and rolls in neutral to the end of that drive where it runs over that little girl. Who ha And it says marijuana kills. That bitch had like 9, 10 seconds to go 5 feet across a fucking driveway. That's natural selection. Your daughter is a fucking fucktard if she can't get away from a Toyota Corolla in neutral. As a matter of fact, if she'd have stayed home and got high, none of that would have happened. None of it. And then my favorite one stars a girl named Lindsay. I know Lindsay's name for a reason because Lindsay's dog walks into the room and looks at Lindsay and says, Lindsay, we need to talk. And Lindsay looks back at the dog like this ain't nothing. She's still shoveling food in her face. And the dog says, Lindsay, I don't like it when you get high. To which if I were in that environment and it was me in that commercial, my response would be, I don't like it when my fucking dog talks. 
But this dog berates the shit out of her, says, you don't walk me, you don't take care of me, and you don't feed me. And people, we know that's a lie. Because when I get high, I'm making ramen noodles with fucking Reese cups and Skittles in it. Maybe some bacon bits for like 80 people. Everybody's eating, including Meatwad and Snogberry. But marijuana kills. And remember, people, Partnership for Drug-Free America is not a partnership for Drug-Free America. It's a partnership to make sure you purchase drugs and alcohol and tobacco that are taxed by the federal government. So, that's today's video. Let me know what you think. Do you think... Uh, that these drug commercials are effective? Let me know if they're effective on you. Let me know. Do the Partnership for Drug Free America's commercials make you want to not do drugs? Or do they, like you, make you laugh because you just smoked the fucking bowl and you find them hilarious? You want to see something that will make you not want to do drugs? Watch the fucking movie Basketball Diaries. It is solely the reason why I won't do heroin. Fucking incredible movie. And it's Leo DiCaprio and Mark Wahlberg and a fucking great cast. Michael Imperioli. Good fucking movie. Basketball Diaries. Check it the fuck out. So, to Mr. Fucking uh, Suspended for Being Real, your name should be Suspended for Being Inbred. And Partnership for Drug Free America, fuck you. Check out the movie Basketball Diaries. Let me know if you've seen it, what you thought about the movie as well. So that's a couple questions for you. And um, we'll see you tomorrow. But before we go, make sure you go to Verbally, uh, shop.verballyvicious.com and pick up uh, Josh Denny's amazing CD and DVD release, Honest Brutality, at verballyvicious.com. Shop.verballyvicious.com. You get the t shirts, my DVD, Josh's DVD, uh, Kevin Kraft's shirt will be on there. And to the people who said they thought I was a fraud and I'm not on the road, you can find Kevin and I January 16th in Bushnell, Illinois, January 17th in Aledo, Illinois. And go to my MySpace page, just type Daryl Horner in, and uh, get my full schedule. And would anybody that has big posters like this be fake? Because this is pretty cool. And that's my company. And that's me. Love, peace, and hair grease, motherfuckers. My name is Daryl Horner. This was fun. I approved it. This has been Verbally Vicious News with Daryl Horner. Rate, comment, subscribe.